What's a big industry secret that isn't supposed to be known by the general public? I work at a hospital in an area where there are lots of hospitals. Our ER has an EMT lounge with free slushies, soda and snack food so the EMTs choose our hospital when delivering patients. If you get in a car accident and your insurance tries telling you that you have to or that you should take your car to a specific repair facility to get repaired. Tell them to go fist themselves. You have no obligation to any insurance company or repair facility. You can take your car to any body shop you like to have the repairs done. And it's against the law for insurance companies to tell you that you can't. However, they often use tricky wording to make you feel like you have no say. Especially if you're a woman. Source. Estimator and parts manager for a body shop. Customer service text chat can see what you're typing in the box before you hit send. Please help me. The bad man is Comey. Please help me. The bad man I. Please help me. The. Please. Hi. Relative of mine was a mystery shopper and did a lot of car garages. He would get sent in with a car and had to get it serviced and reported on how well it was completed if they found all the faults if the customer service was up to scratch etc. The results were usually 6 stroke 10. Until suddenly every garage was a 10 stroke 10 continuously. He investigated as it was a bit suspicious and found mice, mystery shopper, written on the bottom of the car he was given. One of the garages sussed him out and wrote it there for future garages to find. And make sure they have it the best possible service. TL. DR. Write mice, mystery shopper, on the bottom of your car when you get it serviced to ensure it gets the best service possible. Edit. This generally refers to large car garages such as Skoda and C to work on their own model cars for their customers. Going to your local mechanic round the corner. He isn't going to expect a mystery shopper anytime soon. In sofa couch commercials they use smaller actors models to make the sofa's couches look bigger. I attended a songwriting workshop at Berkeley School of Music. And Anna Wise, Grammy winning songwriter. Kendrick Lamar collaborator, told the audience during a presentation that whenever someone magically blows up on SoundCloud or YouTube, that it's not authentic. A label will sign the artist in secret, and then suddenly boost their viewership tremendously to make it look like the independent artist did it on their own. A bottle of Windex is basically 95% water 4% ammonia, and 1% blue dye fragrance. The most expensive part of the product is the bottle. The fresh chocolate chip cookie scent that can be smelled outside of the Magic Kingdom bakery is artificial. It's piped out there to draw you into the bakery. They're called smellitzers. They're like targeted scent cannons. Disney also cranks the AC up in the shops in the wintertime. So it feels colder than it actually is. And you think to yourself. Man. I better get that Mickey sweatshirt or I'm gonna be freezing all day. My sister was on The Biggest Loser. Jillian and Bob were there too maybe 3 days a week. They make it seem like they live there. I was a contestant on The Biggest Loser. This is a fact. We mostly spend our days working out by ourselves. Or with sub trainers that the celebrity trainers send in. Edit. Took her sister's name out of my comment. Not my place to throw that information out there. Former Dunkin' employee here. We don't check the survey codes at the bottom of your receipt. Any random 5 digits in the space. You've got a free donut with purchase. At Subway my manager never once bought real mayonnaise. The light mayo and the real mayo are both light mayo. Investigate those efkers. This is the shadiest scandal associated with Subway I've ever heard. As call center employee I can assure you that all of our calls are recorded not for training purposes. But to protect our own asses. Patient confidentiality just means your name isn't in the story. Not that your story won't get told. Not sure if this is an industry practice. But a very popular online retail company in my country has no in-house web designers or any other IT staff beyond your generic networking techs. 
Anytime their website or backend systems need work they simply advertise a permanent position and give the job of sorting out whatever they need done as a trial for the candidate. Once completed. They then inform them that the position is no longer available and send them on their way. They've been doing this for years. Edit. Well that escalated quickly. Ever done an online insurance quote? That's just a slightly watered down version of what your insurance agent is working with. Seriously. We just put in the info and the computer spits out a price. Unless coverage or rating information changes. The price you get is what you get. 20-30 years ago. An agent could tell you how much different rating factors impacted the price. Etc. Today's agents aren't privy to any of that information. PL. DR. Insurance agents don't just pull the price out of their asses and hope you'll take it. The computer does that for us. It feels like it shouldn't be a secret. But a lot of people just don't get it. If you find yourself waiting forever to be seen in the ER. That's probably a very good thing. We get the serious stuff back there pretty dang quick. Edit. For clarity's sake. A whole lot of pain doesn't automatically make something serious. A broken arm or something hurts like hell. But we're going to take the guy who's sweating and says his chest feels a little tight before you. Because he might be dying and you definitely aren't. From a pharmacy perspective. Most people don't understand how dietary supplements are regulated by the FDA. They are basically special food. Not a drug. So you know all that safety and efficacy testing the FDA requires before a drug can even get to the market? Yeah that doesn't happen with dietary supplements. They are held to a much lower safety standard than drugs. When do they get pulled off the shelves? When they are proven and safe through use in the public. Also. They sometimes contain prescription ingredients. Libido enhancing dietary supplements routinely are found to contain derivatives of Slidenafil, Viagra, and other similar drugs. That sounds great and all to some people. But many men seeking these and proven OTC enhancers are on nitrates for chest pain. Which could prove to be a very significant drug interaction causing a big drop in blood pressure from widespread vasodilation. Basically. Dietary supplements aren't under the same scrutiny that drugs are and most people think if it made it to the shelf it must be safe. That's not true. Your children tell us nearly everything about what goes on in your home. Source. Preschool teacher. Thanks for all the upvotes and replies. Cracking up reading some of these. Merlin Entertainments. The company that runs a wide variety of midway attractions like Legoland Discovery Centers as well as Legoland itself. Pays most of their American employees less than Walmart. Oftentimes. Employees love the job. But ultimately can't afford to keep it. This causes a near 90% turnover rate. Adblock does a better job at keeping malware away than antivirus. Not in the casino industry but I am in the fire service and we learn things like this. Casinos will pump an extra 1% of oxygen into the air to make you more alert and give you more energy which allows you to stay there longer and spend more money. It's also the reason casino fires can be so catastrophic. Ask to have the late fee waived. I literally cannot do anything with it until you specifically ask. So you have a late fee of $30 on this. Gee that's a lot. Why is it so much? That's the late fee we have. I do apologize for that inconvenience. Well I guess I'll have to pay it then. Okay. So your bill is $150. Do you realize how much that is? Yes. And I do apologize for the inconvenience. Well. Can you do something about it? Yes. Now I can because you asked. Please stop making me feel guilty that you paid your bill late. Edit. Since so many are asking. I work in insurance for business owners. I'm sorry I'm not the cell phone bank mortgage hospital etc company. If it makes you all feel better. I'd waive all of your late fees. I work for a web design development agency in Canada. Clients think they pay us to do the work. The reality. We charge anywhere from $5. 000 to 200 dollars 
000 plus for web projects we take 90% of those projects and outsource them to India for $200 the projects come back built so poorly. We spend months fixing them the CEO laughs to the bank. I don't agree with the process. But that's why I quit and start a new job next week. Rocket science is like 90% plumbing. Our printing department printed your t-shirts wrong. Right now they're filling in the missing ink spots with sharpies. Security guards are underpaid and usually undertrained. That guy standing in front of the bank with the shiny gun? The guy some of you might expect to protect you if you're being robbed. He makes about a dollar or two more than minimum wage. Depending on what city you're in. The contracts for these jobs are insane. Sometimes it's hundreds of dollars per hour per guard. The actual person on the ground. In an industry that has very little overhead. Makes very little money. You use too much Dawn dish soap. That stuff is ridiculously concentrated. Obligatory highest rated comment edit. Don't tell me what I can top my flan with. Oftentimes the on-air personality you're listening to on the radio isn't actually live. Many tend to pre-record beforehand so they can either laze around, record commercials, or do other work. Grocery store bakeries do not bake the cakes they decorate. That stuff comes in frozen. I can't bake you a carrot cake. On top of that most of the baking in grocery store bakeries is just pulling frozen pastries or muffins or whatever out of the box and panning it up. Then putting it in the proofer oven. We don't really make things anymore. Midway games at carnivals or fairs purposely let people win early on in the day. This way people carry around the prizes and advertise them for the rest of the day. Edit. Midway game attendants use misinformation through internet forums to get people to play their carnival games early in the day. During their biggest downtime. Record labels and producers sometimes use ghost vocalists for pop stars who really can't sing. Ghost vocalists are like singing impressionists who come into the studio and racing the song in the style of the popster. But better. Often the popsters in question don't even know that their vocals have been replaced. Oh and. For the record. No pun. Terrible singers can't be fixed with autotune. It is only used to polish slightly untidy vocals. This is why ghost vocalists are used. Printer ink cartridges are meant to signal that they're empty after a certain number of pages. Even if they still have some ink left. Every programmer in the world occasionally writes a very bad code that sticks with the app program forever. I work in the trucking industry and it's frightening how much food product is sold and resold after being rejected. Had a customer have a load of cheese refuse because it was too warm. But took it back to another warehouse. Cooled it down and resold it to another customer. I have seen it done with cheese. Juice. Meat and seafood. Only seen it done about 4-5 times out of 10. 000 plus loads I have moved but that is still too high. A lot of people probably know that when a TV show goes into syndication that some scenes will be cut from episodes to make them slightly shorter. To fit in more commercials. What people don't know is that the show can be slightly sped up as well. To squeeze in just a little more advertising. Nothing Bundt Cakes is not made with natural ingredients or fresh everyday. They can be kept frozen for a few weeks and our eggs come out of a giant bag. Remixed. You do not even want to know how much red 40 dye goes into that damn red velvet cake. The reason IT always tells you to turn it off and on again isn't because we get paid by the power sickle. It's because it fixes your issue 95% of the time. When a movie trailer has shots that turn out to be missing from the actual movie. That's not because scenes were cut. Those shots never existed in the movie. The trailer didn't test as well as they wanted. So the studio inserted scenes specifically made for the trailer during additional photography. You don't need a lawyer or legal service site to set up a corporation or LLC just register with the Secretary of State's office for the state you want to incorporate in and pay a low fee, usually around $25. People pay too much thinking setting one up is harder and more complicated than it is. 99. 
customer service also have mute buttons. Former Goodwill employee. They throw 85% of the stuff you donate into the trash. They also care more about production numbers and money than you think. Any restaurant food menu items that you can't customize means that it's pre-made. Servers are typically told to say they are made fresh daily. It is entirely fictional that professional money managers can actually beat the market longer term. They can't. I worked in the industry for 25 plus years. I've hired fire negotiated with dozens of them. They can't. They can't. They can't. Do yourself a favor. Do not buy mutual funds. Buy ETFs. Used to work at Claire's. I will never buy earrings from them anymore without first cleaning them like crazy because employees use them during the day for their outfit and don't clean them before putting them back. We are also told to super glue any product back together before damaging it out to try and sell it still and lastly. My industry. Private investigator. But there's many thousands of us roaming around collecting whatever strange piece of information our clients commission us to get. Which can be incredibly strange at times. Diamonds should be worth much less than people pay for them. Things are worth whatever people are willing to pay for them. Professional BBQ competitor here. All those world famous. Secret recipe BBQ rubs and sauces are 99% the same. And you can make bucket fools of them yourself for one stroke tenth the money and never notice the difference. So when a BBQ person brags about how their rub is a family secret. It's a wheelbarrow full of brown sugar. Salt. Paprika. Chili powder. Cumin. And garlic powder. And then a teaspoon here and there of something like cayenne or long peppercorns or something else you probably couldn't identify in a test test if your life depended on it. Talked with a lady at Nordstrom's who used to be a buyer there. I was buying a winter coat and mentioned how they make money with such steep discounts. She said that she once ordered high quality leather jackets that sold for $400. Nordstrom's price? Lots of top execs and bigwigs in Hollywood are a bunch of pedophiles. You do not need a degree to be an excellent software developer. You simply need to be smart and like your work. Nice try Chinese spy. Edit. Row. Many people view academia as this wonderful place where science trumps everything else and everyone spends their time doing the research they like. Which is exceedingly rare. Doing a PhD isn't really about doing something new. I mean. Sure. You still have to do a thesis and a whole lot of research. But that's not the main point. It's about being hazed, as the student you possess all the risk and none of the power. And learning the politics and bullshit of academia. It's about coming to grips with the fact that the research you do isn't really all that important. It's just a small piece of the puzzle. The rest is politics. Likewise. Being a professor isn't about teaching. Teaching is at the absolute bottom of the priority list. Hell. Being too good a teacher can sometimes bite you in the ass as the department now assumes you're spending too much time on it and not enough time on bringing money to the university. Grant money and sucking up are how you get tenure at most universities. This one's pretty obvious. But raising Kane's chicken fingers cane sauce is just ketchup. Mayo. Worcestershire sauce. Salt. Pepper. And maybe some garlic powder. They claim it to be a super secret recipe that only the managers know. But if you work there you see the managers make it in the back in a tub all the time. To be fair. That's kind of like saying red lobster biscuits are flour. Water. Sugar. Salt and cheese. Proportions and preparation method are important too. Planned obsolescence. That David Williams doesn't write his books. Juries can return a not guilty verdict even if they agree that the defendant broke the law. If they feel the law itself is unjust. This is referred to as jury nullification and judges do not want jurors to know about it. Even going so far as to hold people handing out literature about it in front of courthouses in contempt of court. I used to work at McDonald's. You should know that the ice coffee sizes are a lie. 
The larger the cup size, the more cream and liquid sugar. You don't get any more coffee from ordering larger sizes. I work at Kohl's. We raise prices on items with white tickets three weeks before a sale. Airlines cancel flights for mechanical reasons when they can combine them and save a ton of money on fuel. I work for a major US airline and this has never happened in my six years working in the industry. Air carriers are more concerned with adjusted completion factor, the percent flights actually completed excluding weather cancellations, which is monitored by the Department of Transportation. Even if there is only one passenger booked on the plane it is going to fly. Also it is very likely that the particular aircraft needs to fly to the downline city for passengers there on the next flight or planned maintenance at that location. There's cough syrup and a flaming mo. Anthropologist here. We never actually find human remains on our dig sites. We usually just kill the intern who complains the most and use them. You will have a life of the same quality without the product commercials make you buy. Something tells me you've never been really poor. I can tell you with percent 100 certainty my life has greatly improved since I've been able to afford laundry detergent. New clothes. Makeup. Shampoo. My phone and internet. Movie tickets. Going out to eat or dance or to the theater. Books. Or any so called extras that I technically don't need to survive. I'm sure there will be people who will challenge this or whatever but here goes it. Cuban cigars. The big appeal is A. You can't buy them in the US and B. They are 100% Cuban tobacco. This is not E case all the time. The large companies. Cohiba. Monte Cristo. ETC. Are most likely pure Cubans. Purists. However lately there's been many reputable sources in the cigar industry reporting Cuban tobacco brokers trading buying non-Cuban tobacco. Due to the massive decrease in tobacco cultivation in Cuba the government simply cannot meet the demand for cigars. Therefore they'll trade for it. Sometimes they trade a bale of Cuban tobacco for, let's say, three bales of Nicaraguan tobacco. This allows them to continue making quality smokes while attempting to meet the demand of the cigar market. Again. This is a pretty secretive practice and is denied by many smokers. However you ask around in the industry enough and you'll meet plenty of people who will confirm that this does take place.